Hello everyone, in this video you are going to learn how to connect a LED and a small motor to an Arduino microcontroller and then you are also going to learn how to write a program using Python to control the LED and this small motor through lab or packet tracer activity 2.2.1.4 from connecting things course from Cisco. Okay, so let's get into the practice or the tasks. And here we have uh, the tasks. Uh, you already know that. And now let's see what are the objectives. Here in part one, we are going to build a circuit. And then we need to place the component in a logical workplace. This is the logical workplace. And then we need to connect the uh, things or the devices that we are going to use which is a servo or a small motor and a LED. Then we are going to write a program using a Python. By the way when you see single board computer it means through packet tracer it means that we are going to use Arduino microcontroller. Okay and uh, when we talk about uh, single board controller you have to know that we are going to deal to send a signal or receive a signal through analog okay so when we are going to talk about digital signals then we will need to use raspberry pi but now we will control the control like um, the servo motor then we are going to use an analog signal so that's why here single board um, uh, computer or arduino um, is used Okay, so what is the scenario? The scenario here we have packet tracer has in evolved to simulate IoT devices. The tutorial will guide you through the process of placing components in the logical workplace, connecting the components, and then programming the single board. So we don't need to buy a small motor, we don't need to buy um, a LED, we don't need to buy also an Arduino. Then we are going to use everything through packet tracer. We are focusing, of course on the program or on the software that we are going uh, to put it inside the controller or inside Arduino. Okay, so here is the task. First, we need open uh, packet tracer. I'm using one more time. From last video, I mentioned that I'm using uh, packet tracer 7.3. Okay, so then we need to put the components. Here we have SBC. This is the uh, Arduino and this is the Raspberry Pi. So we need now the SBC and then we need here to put a LED and then we need to find a small motor which is this one here, a servo. Then we need to connect them as you can see here as D0 with the servo D0. So here is D0. Okay. Let's try to check the cable we are using, IoT custom, D0, and then D0 here, one more time, D0 to D1. Okay, this is the first part. We, are con we connected the devices, now we need to write a program there. So let's click on this Arduino, and then you can see here there is a specifications, uh, also, there is here a physical, config, desktop, and programming. So when we write here, we can click the, the bell click here, and on the main, we have this code here. Okay, so let's read this code. We, you should be able to understand each line. Let's get, uh, I walk you through, um, like here, so from GPIO, import everything. This is a module or a library in Python that deals with the devices. So when you are using IoT, uh, then you should be familiar with this module here. We imported everything and also we import in time because we need to play a little bit with the delay. Okay, here we have a main function and then we have pin mode. This is one out, so we send signal to pin one. And then we print planking. This is, we are going to see here in the console, like planking, that it means that the LED is turning on and off. 
and then we are going inside infinite loop and then we write one it means that this is high and then we delay 1000 and then we write low so this is up this is down so like on off and then we delay 500 and here if if name equals main it means that if we are running this file from here then call the main function which is this one here great hopefully it's a clear there and you should like if you are dealing you this is a very simple python program um, that i think it's clear also uh, to you if not please try to take my uh, course python uh, essentials all right so let's get this code run and let's check what is going to be here so let's run and as you can blinking here we have, we printed this there and then the lead is now clinking. Okay, let's stop this. Let's continue on the tutorial on what or on the what we have to do. We need to modify now this code. Okay, so let's modify this code and then we need to now control this small motor here. Okay, so to do this we can put this function control C and then we put it just down here and then we take this one from here control c and then here control v now we are going to control this motor here so we are we will see that we should see that this motor is starting to move right and left all right so and here blinking let's change it that it's uh, i use now I O T. We should see here the I O T there, and then let's get this run, and then you can see now I use I O T, and then you can see now the servo is moving left and right, or the small motor. Okay, so let's stop this, and then let's see what is there. We need to do more. Uh, the servo should now move along with the blinking LED, so we already did this. And here in the reflection, what could be changed to make the servo turn in an opposite direction while the LED is blinking? It's clear that from here you can like put here minus and put here the positive value. And now we will move in an opposite direction, as you can see here. Okay, so that's all for this task so we to recap what we learned we learned that how can we use packet tracer we use small devices from here and then we connect it to Arduino we used SBC as Arduino and then we controlled we wrote a program to control these two the devices all right so here also you can connect you can see there is a coffee machine you can see there is speaker door and the garage door and, and, so, and so on or garage or a gate okay so thank you very much enjoy and then see you next video bye